All right, so in the last video, we went over jumps. We created an airborne jump and went to jump slash fall. In this video, I will be showing playback, animation playback speeds. This will allow us to create forms of sprinting and even potentially a stamina system. So within the character's animation blueprint, we're going to open up the idle running. If we click on any play animation, we have a couple of options. There's a play rate, start position, and the loop animation that we've previously gone over. All I've done here is select the run and exposed the play rate. Now, this is stuff that I've created and I'll show you what this is. If we pop into here, I have an enhanced input action sprint. If you remember those, we go on key mapping, you need to create a input, oops, input, input action, make a sprint to bind it to whatever sprint key you would like. Personally, I have it as sprint. You can make it multiple things, one thing. You can make it whatever key you'd like, however you feel. And within the main player controller, we now have the enhanced in input action sprint option. On started, I'm going to do a check of is moving on ground. Now this character movement variable, I've actually created it myself. We have it in components. I did this by adding into the event on possesses right here. We get player character. We cast get their character movement and just set it as a variable. Because we reference this enough, I don't want to have to be doing this every single time I want to do it. It's, it would become a bit, you know, cumbersome. In addition, I don't want to be setting this variable every time we press the in 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 the input action for sprint. So I just want to do it once and have that access to that as a reference. All right, we want to check if he's moving on the ground. This uses the previously mentioned in the last video, the movement modes. All right, I guess I should show the set. There we go. All right, so if is moving on ground, see, it will only, there at the end, it says returns true if currently moving on the ground, example, walking or driving. We have in here the walking option. There is no driving. That is an, just an example, probably of a custom you could create. But we want to check is moving on ground. We don't want to be sprinting if we're in the air. I mean, if you want to, you could, but... So if that's true, the character is moving on the ground, we will then get the character movement max walk speed. This is a built-in thing, a built-in variable into, into your actual character's blueprint. In the character movement, remember, this is the character, character blueprint. Within the character movement, we have all sorts of options to affect different things, that, different variables that are just built in. One of them is walking max walk speed. There's even a max walk speed when crouched. And if we go in here, we can now affect that. So we're going to grab it. We're going to multiply it by one and a half times. So whatever the max is already, we're going to multiply it by one and a half. And then we're going to override it by setting it. And we're going to create a variable by adding variable, so changing it to float, and naming it sprint animation play rate, and setting that to 1.25. Also, you want to make sure the default value of your sprint animation play rate is 1. If it is 0, this will not work. When you start your game, you won't be moving, because in here, we have this as main player controller. We're getting that now, that variable we just created and making it the play rates. If this was a default of zero, you, whenever you would run, it would start out as zero until you start sprinting. And then it would overwrite it here and set it to 1.25. So we want to make sure just as a base, it is always one. Finally, on completed the input action, we are going to now set the max walk speed to whatever your default is that you'd like and return the sprint animation play rate back to one. 
Um, this will allow us to now have a guy when I press sprint to actually run. And if you feel like it's not working, you can also change this to something silly and see that once I press it, he's definitely sprinting, right? This can be edited however you'd like to make more, a, just a faster movement, um, more animation speed. I like it to keep it at this. And finally, I did forget to do this, just changing these in general. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I didn't show this on video. I don't know if I had changed this to 600 or if this is the default. Um, one other thing I'd like to show, because this irritates me, the jump velocity is a bit low. I would put that at something like 600. The air control is very low, and that makes us feel... Whenever I jump, we don't have a lot of... Once we're jumping, we don't have a lot of control, and it doesn't feel very nice. But if we're moving quick, then we kind of have a lot of speed built up, but we can't turn or anything. I hate that. I'm going to put the air control to 0.8. And this will allow us to move more in the air. If you don't like that, that's perfectly fine. You can change it to whatever you'd like, 0 0.08 maybe. That's, that's a number. We still lose a lot. So I'm just going to leave it at 0.8 for now. This will probably change in the future. And there you go. So now we have a little more control while we're in the air and we have the ability to actually sprint. This could in turn be used to create a form of a stamina. If you wanted to make a stamina that would decrease over time, uh, you could then use a play rate to display that you are moving slower. I think stamina is stupid for a movement mechanic. Ignore those. I think punishing players for stamina like that is not necessary. I think having combat stamina is okay, but movement stamina is a little silly. However, it is an option that you could use the play rates to slow yourself down. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Uh, the next video, I think we will begin working on some attack animations, which should be fun.